Hello everyone, JotRunner88 here with another Star Wars figure review. This time it is the Clone Trooper from their appearance in Andor, or just any other appearance in any Star Wars media, as long as they're in their Phase 2 armor and don't have any paint on them anywhere. Let's take a quick look at the card back. Lots of people enjoy the card backs, and this is a pretty good one. Whoop. And... Don't you love how professional I am? It's so great. But there we go. Nice uh, actual in costume like performer. It's on the Andor card bag. So, one thing that you would notice in the uh, newer media that they've been, the live action at least, they have been using actual costumed performers. For the clone troopers and that has been giving them a more a more realistic look as far as like actually having somebody in the armor because in revenge of the sith and attack of the clones they were all like digital troopers except for like their heads when they had their helmets off but they didn't have like any actual people inside the armor so when it came to making figures for him and stuff, it was always kind of like, I'd say it was probably a little difficult to sculpt the figures because they didn't have like the actual like proportions of the armor that would actually be on a physical person. So I can only imagine that is difficult for Hasbro to replicate these, uh, the likenesses of the armor and one of the very first renditions of the figure is one of these guys here they call it the antenna mold <clears throat> and we'll get him right up next to this guy here <clears throat> so i'll do some comparisons i'll do the uh First off, my overall opinion, I I love the new figure. I think it's great. It's got all the articulation you need. But the one issue is the helmet. But a lot of people say that the antenna mold here is like the best and most perfect rendition. And it is very accurate. I think it is a little too like narrow. And it doesn't look like you could really... I mean, if you did get a head under there... <clears throat> It would be a very tiny head, probably. I think that the antenna mold helmet is... While it might be accurate to, like, the the way it looked on film, like, whatever they had to work with back in the day, I think it is a little undersized. And that might be... Because the shoulders are, like, a, very bulky on these ones. And that might be adding to it. It might make the head look a little smaller, the helmet look a little smaller. But... <clears throat> You can't deny that the new helmet that they've come out with is not a bit oversized. And it makes it worse when you put it on because it, their head like widens it even more. And they've made the visor, for whatever reason, like super skinny. You can even look at the card back on the figure and see that the visor is supposed to be much thicker. So I, they really need to stop with the removable helmets and they need to do swappable heads and helmets. They've done it with several figures already. They've done it with one of the Mando figures. They've done it with Bo-Katan, Casca Reeves. And I think it's just the best way to capture the just the best likeness of the helmet in this scale it's a uh, probably cheaper for them to pump out all these rubber helmets <clears throat> and i get that but also they're going to be giving us like a million clone troopers so they'll get their money's worth if they have to pump out some hard plastic helmets but other than the helmet and again, if you put this 
helmet on this body, it would probably look way too small. It might look a little, little, it'll look better, but I think it would still be too small. They need to find like a middle ground and, you know, figure it out. But that's the complaining I guess I have as far as this figure. But people that like swear by this guy, like he's great, but it's absolutely, you cannot compare this to this articulation wise. Yes, the helmet can be a little more accurate, but the articulation here is just absolutely phenomenal. Not a fan of when they print just black on the leg like that. It's kind of frustrating, but let's get into this a little bit. Another issue with the removable helmets is it will it will rub their eyebrows off. It'll do it. So you gotta be careful. You gotta kind of ease them on. Don't be just whipping them on and off. But it is using the same head as the Arc Trooper. That's why I have a couple of them here. And that's good in the sense that there's like a bald head that they can use. But it's a, a little frustrating because we've got this mean mug here. And we've got this head here, which pretty much the same as that one as far as like the expression, but he does have different hair. So it'd be really cool if they could try and get these heads into this body somehow. I don't think they'll be able to just because this is single ball joint on here and then this is a barbell, so different sizes and whatnot. And I think this head is probably a little too big for this body, but it's a little big for this body because this body is too big for a clone trooper. Clone troopers are not the tallest guys in, in the world. <laughs> they, uh, they are just like an average height guy. Not even, I don't think Tamara Morrison's even over six feet. I think he's like 5'8 at most. So I like this more squat version. It is far more in scale with the antenna mold. Definitely the arc trooper here. I think they made the feet a little too big, but they 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 still look good, yeah. The belts are much nicer looking. They're a lot bigger than these ones. These guys are just they look look just look at them next to them. It's just so lanky and weird. It just looks like a knockoff now. And he is this one is a lot whiter, but I mean, you know. Clones are all sorts of different colors armor wise, so I'm not, I mean, this looks a lot more yellowy because of the light that I have in my room, but yeah, just like even getting these guys to stand, it's just like, just wiggle on their leg, their skinny little legs around. Honestly, these would have probably been a lot better height-wise if their ankles weren't like weirdly long, but you don't have to worry about that with the new guys, because they're, honestly, I, I absolutely love these figures. They're Again, the helmet's the only issue. I love just having these gorgeous faces on them. They just look so good. Hopefully we get some nice variety with some new heads. It'd be cool if they pump out a new one at some point. Because we've got this head, and then there's the bald head, which they're using for the waxer figure and the four-pack that we're getting of the, uh, the uh, 212th Battalion. So that'll be interesting, but yeah, they can pump this figure out as much as they want. And I lucked out finding one at, I went to the Walmart right after work the other day, and I found this guy, found Hunter and Admiral Piat, and I was so excited about it. I saw Hunter on the peg, and I was just like, oh, did the other ones get snatched up? And I looked up on the top shelf where they put like the extra stock. And they had the clone up there, and Piet was, like, tucked back, so I had to grab that one as well. And then I went out earlier today, and I found another fresh case, and I picked up another clone trooper. And that is why I have two. And hopefully more. Eventually. I think they'll definitely come out with, like, a four-pack at some point. So I'm not going to go too crazy with picking them up separately. But... They're awesome. And the articulation's all there. Got the 
the waist they do have like the a rubbery shoulder which at first when i was seeing people doing reviews for them they kept like putting the shoulder like pad like up and over the armor and i i hate when people do it like that i'm sorry whoever <laughs> puts the shoulder armor up like that but just so you all know it does tuck under the torso and it can go all the way back and stuff just like all the old figures would do that it would like tuck on up and under and i'm very happy that it does that it just looks a little better and it's not going to like bend that piece and make it look all weird and then you get the rocker ankles and everything i'm so happy that they put the knee pad where it's supposed to be I hate that they've been putting it right here on the ARC Troopers. The knee pads are on the thigh armor, so when you have them in kneeling pose, it's like sticking straight down, but now that it's proper, in the proper place, and it is connected to the shin, so we don't have to worry about them maybe gluing it somewhere where it's not supposed to be. The Black Series is notorious for that. But yeah, Clone Trooper comes with his... Little medium blaster and the long blaster rifle. See here. Of course, it's nice and rubbery because what do we expect from Hasbro when it comes to clone blasters? But yeah, that is the clone trooper from Andor. And soon, I'm sure, from every other piece of media that they've appeared in because they're going to get their money's worth and we're all going to just gobble it up because we're we're gross little gross little consumers so that's what we're gonna do so i put the helmet on one last time some people say it like the chin pokes out a little bit if you like maneuver it around and stuff and get it from the right angles it's fine but yeah that is a little bit of an issue but again swappable heads and helmets and we won't have that issue so if you'd get on that hasbro we would all appreciate it very much and a couple more heads for some variety or at least you know some scars or something change it up they did that with uh, the arc commander havoc gave him like sideburns a little soul patch it looks awesome but yeah i think that's gonna about do it thank you for watching everybody like comment subscribe have you found any of these they're hitting walmart's go check it out frustratingly it's one per case so you might not luck out finding one right now but guarantee they will do a four pack eventually and I think that's going to about do it. Go follow me over on Instagram, JohnRunner88 over there as well. And thanks for watching, everybody. Bye, guys.